hey guys welcome back to another gem editor tutorial so this tutorial is for beginners who are new to the gem editor so I'm going to show you guys how you can use map borders correctly All right what these lines are for and how to use them so select these lines first click on auto uh, in order to select the lines okay so now you're in control of the lines so you will know when you have selected a line is when the mouse turns green otherwise it will remain silver right now you can move the lines okay you cannot select the green line because the green line and the yellow line are uh, attached together so I'm going to explain what these lines mean and how to use them correctly. So the yellow line is a start of fog. This is where the fog starts on the edge of the map or wherever you put this line on the map. If you place it right here, this area will be covered in fog. As you move closer to the green line, the fog gets deeper. So this is not uh, the line for moving the camera or unit movement but this is the section of the map which will be covered in fog so for example if you place uh, this section um, so if you select this section like this then this part of the map will be covered in fog from the yellow line to the green line all right so this is what the yellow and the green line stands for okay now comes the blue the blue line is the camera boundary so when you're moving the camera throughout the map this blue line will restrict your camera movement so if you like put the blue line on the uh, like on the middle section of the yellow and the green line then your camera will be in perfect position uh, when you are exiting moving to this part of the map uh, you cannot go to that part that section because of this line all right so this limits camera movement throughout the map so always remember to put the yellow line first then the blue line in second all right the blue line should be always in the middle of the yellow and the green line whenever you are creating a mission okay so now comes the most important part of this video the purple line this restricts unit movement infantry vehicles tanks won't go past this line so for example if you put this line over here then your units will not go to this position of the map it will be stuck by this purple line so this limits unit movement this does not work for planes so planes can move out through this section of the map, come from this position and bomb this place and then go out of the map again and vanish. So whenever you are creating a map and a mission, always make sure if your purple line is on the edge of the map. Always make sure your purple line is on the edge of the map. When you are, you are creating something, always put your purple line on the edge of the map this limits unit movement so if your line is here on the edge of the map your unit uh, can retreat some enemy units can retreat from the map and then move over here and vanish or when you are calling reinforcements so for example like your purple line is over here and your tanks are positioned over here let me show you an example 
so like your tanks are over here so when you call in reinforcements the tanks won't move because uh, you have used the waypoint uh, like you're using waypoint from here or from here so your tanks won't move if you want to move your tanks you have to put the yellow li uh, purple line on the edge of the map so now the tanks will move throughout this map so the tanks will be here and then at this position they will vanish because they have left the end of fog line so <clears throat> whenever you are creating one or more set clips so for example add new so you want to change uh, some things so auto is like this and you want to change the new one so work with the yellow and the blue line do not touch the purple line all right so i hope this tutorial helps you guys creating more maps and more missions all right so thank you guys for watching i'll be bringing in more tutorials like this for the beginners who are new to the gem editor Alright, so thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.